Alright. What's up, everyone? I'm Mira. And I'm just gonna do a little, like, corner uh, reset. I don't know. Just I don't know if it's like a tutorial, but it's just some of the things that I like to use. Um, yeah, when I'm resetting certain situations. Um, it's a couple different scenarios that things can be set up. Usually, most of these are going to be off of a stun because you can guarantee that they're set up. Um, some of you probably already know, probably most of them, but I don't know. It's just a nice thing to have. Um, so, say off of, I mean, off of a command grab, honestly, to be honest, the best thing you could do if, the, if it's not going to kill, you probably want to end in a, a just a V skill um, overhead because if you end, um, you could do heavy bolt if it's gonna kill. But the thing is, like, you're a little bit far and the dash up is zero, so you just get better Oki. And um, what's really good about um, that setup in particular, if you're just doing V skills, because like you can just go for normal throws, and if they try to like. V shift, they're gonna be like minus like nine, and it's gonna be like really good for you. But that's just like a thing. If you're starting with the command grab, just go for damage for the most part. They'll probably die. Even with the, even with like the the scaling, it's still like, um, it's still fine. Um, but um, what else you could do is something like. You can't do Ford Fierce over there. What are you doing, Mia? <laughs> I guess you could do something like into medium bolt, and then the light ja the jab will reset them, and you can go for a throw or a command grab. Um, what's really nice about this particular um, Ender? Alright, I'm just gonna show this. <laughs> you can make this plus seven. It's just the sand strong is so meaty that it just it's just so much damage if they try to hold up. And it's just such a safe option. Cause even against V Shift, um you're still not gonna be at a huge disadvantage because you did the stand strong so early, you'll recover in time to be able to um you won't get punished for it. You might be V break, but even then, like actually it's so meaty you probably wouldn't uh, but, um, alright, the ones that I really like to use, I got from Idom. So after, like, a medium bolt, um, stun, you can do medium thunderclap, and then the thunder, the, the target combo, and then you can get a, like, a left-right mix-up, which is really cool. Um, you can choose which side you stay on. Use the horde, stand strong, and then you get to choose the side that you're on. You can also set this up off of, um, it's a little bit harder off of a heavy bolt stun. Um, but you kind of micro walk forward and then set it up that way. Micro walk forward, light thunderclap, and yeah, that's how you set it up. Um, a good damage ender is like medium thunderclap. Forward, uh, towards Fierce, Forward Fierce, and you can either end in Heavy Bolt or do the reset that I showed earlier, which is, um, it's a pretty strong reset. Um, just because given how close you are, um, you can delay buttons, normal throw, like, and whatnot. Um, so, uh, this next one is not good, and I don't really recommend it, but it might cheese people out, because it's not really a, a mix-up. So stand strong and uh, V-Skill back and, and canceling into V-Skill forward. So you'll see here that you always land behind them. But you're gonna be like minus normally um, when you do this. So you can get counter hit out of it if they're mashing. Um, but it's nice to kind of just like reset the situation, see if they're paying attention. But you know, they're always going to be on the other side, so it's not really the best. Um, one that I really like in uh, V-Trigger, um, 
So say like you stun with like like a jab or whatnot. So you do that combo, and then you do like uh, after the sand light kick, you do a light uh, sunset wheel, and light sunset wheel is like so good at like like resetting because even if you're like plus you're plus four it so you don't have to auto time it or you don't have to manly time it i mean it's just auto time and you just do it um and it's i don't know it's it's a nice nice little reset that's worked um obviously if they're just holding up or mashing dp that's not gonna work but <laughs> um there's that um what else do i like to use I don't know, that's pretty much it. Laura just does so much damage. Honestly, I would just recommend um, now that V Shift is a factor, uh, I would layer in many like normal throws during your uh, reset situations or shimmies because a lot of people might just be. Um, do I not have a V Shift button? What the heck? Yeah, but they might just be. Oh, I'm in V Trigger. <laughs> they just might be just mashing V Shift during uh, your your. Uh, reset to try to get out of it. Um, so always be aware of that now that that is another layer to their defense and you have to um, kind of like account for it. Um, yeah, those are the resets I use. Honestly, you could just pick a couple of them and just like layer them around. But to be honest, like you could Really, since they're in the corner, you really don't want to take too many risks. I know it's weird that I'm saying that, but like... The, the simplest um, mix-up is often the most effective, just normal throws, shimmies, and uh, buttons. So, yeah, I don't know if that helped, but I hope it did. Maybe it gave you some ideas for something else. Um, so yeah, alright, bye-bye.